Hello everyone, it's MuckleZunky here, and welcome to my thieving guide for RuneScape. In this guide, I'm going to be showing you uh, the best way to get to level 99 thieving, and as well, once we get into the higher levels, I'm going to show you guys a couple different options. Um, so there will a, be a couple different things that you can choose to get to 99 thieving. Some fast XP, some a little bit AFK. Um, so I will be showing you uh, some of the methods that I have used, and some of the methods that I have found to be efficient as well. Um, so before we really begin in the thieving guide, here's a couple things that are going to really help out while you're thieving. Um, the first is a bunyip familiar. You're going to need 68 summoning to use it. Uh, this is very useful for thieving because oftentimes you will get damaged while thieving if you fail. Um, and the bunyip is very useful because it heals the damage, um, especially because the bunyip is a heal over time effect as well as when you fail you get damage over time. Um, it's not all at once, so the bunyip is really extremely useful and better than food, in my opinion. Also, if you have the RD Cloak 3 or 4, um, the RD Cloak 1 and 2 do not count as they only work while in the city of Artie. But if you have the RD Cloak 3 or 4 from doing the hard Ardone tasks or the elite tasks, um, you want to wear this because this will reduce your chance of failing while thieving uh, anywhere in RuneScape. So when you just start out thieving, there's no need to even leave the starting area if you just created a new account. Um, first of all, we're going to start by pickpocketing pompous merchants. You can find these near the bank in Taverly. Um, you can start these at level 1 thieving. And once you get level 5 thieving, it's time to go across the river and there's a few market stalls. Um, the market stalls are depending on level. Uh, I will show you guys a little more about the market stalls and how to pickpocket them uh, in just a second. I would recommend stealing from the market stalls here rather than the ones in Ardone. Uh, the cake stalls in Ardone are much more well known for low level thievers, but it is easier to steal from these market stalls without being caught. Uh, because in Ardone there is a lot more guards around and it's much easier to fail. So because of that, and just to save a little bit of frustration, I recommend to steal here. And I'll show you guys a demo on exactly what you want to do for your thieving in just a second. So when you're starting off thieving and you want to pickpocket some pompous merchants, you can find them all around the Taverly Lodestone, which is really convenient. They give 8 XP per pickpocket, um, but don't despair, it will go fairly fast. Uh, just during the first few levels. You gain a bit of GP per pick, but it's not enough to really be of any consequence. So anyway, just pickpocket these, and as soon as you're level 5, cross the river, and uh, start stealing from the stalls. So at level 5 thieving, what you want to do is just position yourself right where I am, right behind the baker stall. And you can steal from that, and a reef spawns in a few seconds, and you can steal from it again. Um, if you stand in this exact spot, you will very, very rarely get caught. Um, by any of the guards or farmers around, um, and if you ever are caught, you can just uh, kill them. The guards are only level 14, so you can kill them very quickly and then just resume stealing from the stall. Uh, also, if you need any food, this can be a good place to stock up on some low level food, food as you get a lot of cakes. So once you reach 26 thieving after stealing at the market stalls, it will not take too long to reach that. Um, at low levels, it does go very, very fast. Um, you're going to need to complete a quest called Buyers and Sellers. This is only a novice quest, and it has the requirement of only 10 thieving, um, which you have already. So you just need to complete that. It takes about 10 minutes, and it's a very straightforward quest. And then you also need to complete the first caper, which is called From Tiny Acorns. Uh, I have completed all the capers on both my accounts, so unfortunately I can't showcase any of that. But it is a very, very straightforward, almost a mini quest, and you can get that just by talking to the guildmaster. And once you have completed the first caper, you will have access to the chests in the thieving guild. From 26 to 35, you're going to want to steal from the basic chests, and from 35 to 46, you need to steal from the advanced chests. Um, to do this, you'll need a lock pick. Uh, you can buy one of these off the grand exchange for about 1k. Um, also, the XP here from the basic chest is around 30k an hour, and from the advanced chest you can get up to 60k an hour. So, um, it will not take very long at all to get to level 46. So, in the Thieving's Guild, the uh, beginner chests are at the north, and the advanced chests are at the south. And what you want to do is just pick lock the doors, and you'll get a fair amount of XP for doing so. And then you can steal from the chests if you wish. Um, another alternative to stealing from the chests, if you just don't enjoy stealing from chests for any reason, um, is you can actually just pick lock all the door, pick lock all the doors. They give a fair amount of XP for doing so. The northern doors give 210 XP, and the southern doors give a 280 XP. So it is fairly good XP for doing that. 
and then as soon as you can pick lock the doors they will take a while to reset so while you're waiting for them you can either steal from the chest which is an option or you can also just hop worlds to someone else's world on your friends list um, just add people and uh, when they're online hop to their world and once you hop to a different world as you can see the doors are all reset and you can pick lock, pick lock them again um, that, and this can be uh, fairly fast XP as well um, so it should not take very long at all to reach level 46 doing this method. From level 46 to 61 or to 71, depending on how much you enjoy this activity, um, you're going to want to pickpocket Kaushin volunteers. Uh, this is a little more tricky because you have to lure them and then knock them out and then loot them. It's a bit like blackjacking, and on the topic of blackjacking, you actually do need to complete the quest The Feud before you can do this but the feud is a very short quest and it also gives a reward of thieving experience after you complete the quest so I'd recommend to do it anyway um, and after you do that you can go to the guild and buy a rubber blackjack from the general store there um, you will also need to complete the second caper in the thieving guild which is called lost her marbles again you can start this by talking to the guild master uh, the feud doesn't take very long and it reward the caper does not take very long and it rewards a bit of thieving xp as well and it's a little bit fun so um, yeah this is definitely worth doing the XP is also much faster at level 46 you're gonna get around 70,000 an hour and once you get to about 60 when you can get up to 100k an hour if you're going hard and clicking perfectly but um, depending on how much you enjoy this if you really cannot stand uh, doing the coaching volunteers stop at 61 and move on to plunder however if you don't mind doing the coaching volunteers I'd recommend going to 71 because it is a little more faster but much more click intensive so to knock out the coaching volunteers, what you have to do is go to any coaching volunteer, um, click the lure button, and you want to just hold down the space bar when you do this, and your character will lure them, and then you can knock them out, and then if you're fast, you can actually loot them three times. Um, unfortunately, one of the other coaching volunteers got in the way uh, that time, but if you click fast enough, you actually can loot them three times, and the XP you will get for looting them depends on your level. It at level 99 you get 178 XP per pickpocket it seems but at lower levels you will get around 140 um, it goes up roughly 1 to 2 XP per level that you gain um, for each time you loot the Koshin volunteers so it gets faster as you gain level and also you fail less now for pyramid plunder probably the most famous method of thieving in the game um, you can start this at 61 if Pyramid Plunder is something you enjoy. However, there are a lot of people that don't like Pyramid Plunder that much. So, if you don't enjoy Pyramid Plunder, you can do this from 71 to 90 alone. Um, and there, it's going to be the most efficient method of training until around level 90. Um, so, if you... A lot of people love Pyramid Plunder, and a lot of people hate it. Um, it isn't the most annoying method of thieving, and it is fairly fast. And also, you can get some rewards. You can get Pharaoh Scepters, for, which sell for about 950k in the GE, uh, as well as some really good thieving XP. Um, you're going to need a Pharaoh Scepter to do this activity, as it is not nearly as efficient without one. And the XP per hour here, at level 61, you can expect about 90,000 XP per hour. At 71, you can expect about 140,000 XP per hour. At level 81, you can get up to 195,000 XP per hour. And at 91, you can get a whopping 260,000 XP per hour while going to full speed. This sounds like very fast XP, and it is. However, if you wish to try out different methods, which I'm just about to show, you can stop at level 90 or at level 95. Um, to move on to alternative methods of thieving. However, I would recommend just to go all the way to 99, Thieving Pyramid Plunder, because it is the fastest method of gaining XP, um, unless you are really, really good at clicking. Um, and it's just not the most annoying thing to do, and can be kind of fun and profitable. So to do Pyramid Plunder, I had to switch accounts because I found I did not have a Pharaoh Scepter on my main, and I didn't have the money to buy it. But you want a Ferro Scepter in your inventory, um, preferably also get a Bunyip Pouch out to heal you, as I'm not going to be training Pyramid Plunder, I don't have one. Uh, and wear your Arty Cloak, if you have one as well, and click Teleport on the Ferro Scepter, and you want to have the click the first option. Um, also be aware that if you only have one charge left on your Scepter, remember to bring either 12 stone artifacts in your inventory, or 6 gold artifacts that you get from plundering, um, and that you can use the Scepter on the Guardian Mummy to recharge it. 
Uh, that is how you recharge the scepter. The artifacts you all get from plundering. And what you want to do is click start minigame on the guardian mummy. And you want to go through the pyramid. You want to go to the two highest rooms that you can do. Um, each room goes up from 21, 31, 41, 51, 61, and so on. You want to loot completely the two highest rooms that you can complete. Um, and all the other rooms you just want to rush through. Uh, you can also loot the grand gold chest in the middle of each room if you wish for a chance at a pharaoh's scepter. Um, and as soon as that you are, as soon as you are done looting the pyramid plunder, and you have an inventory full of the artifacts that you get from the urns, uh, you want to teleport with a ring of dueling or any other method of teleportation to a bank, and bank the artifacts. You can gain money from these um, by selling them to a man at a different pyramid as well as um, it does not take very long to bank and it is also just rather quick and then you can just quickly um, withdraw anything else that you need out of the bank and renew your bunyip if you need so it just makes it all very convenient monkey knife fighters are another alternative for thieving trading um, to do these you require the do no evil quest completes and a gorilla grigri to thieve them the XP per hour here I put between 200,000 and 300,000. However, one thing to keep in mind, it is very, very difficult to click at full speed, and you also will fail often. You can do these at level 70, but you will fail a lot until around level 80, um, and you will still fail at the Monkey Knife Fighters fairly frequently until about level 90 or so. Um, in the 90s, if you are going full speed, which is very difficult to do, you can get around 300,000 XP per hour. I would not recommend doing this method myself, just because um, it cannot be the, it's not the best on your wrists uh, for all the clicking involved, and it's really not the most enjoyable thing to do. Also, other methods of thieving, such as Pyramid Plunder, are a lot more profitable and, in my opinion, a lot more enjoyable. Um, I did this list this as an alternative because it is the best thieving XP in the game if you are good at it. Um, and I'll show you guys how to do this now. So, for Monkey Knife Fighters, you need to have the um, Apatol Teleport spell, which is two Water Runes, two Fire Runes, two Law Runes, and Banana, and have your Gorilla Grigri uh, just in your inventory. And as soon as you get to Apatol, make sure you equip that so you are not attacked by the monkeys, and uh, run to the west. And in a, a building a few spaces to the west will be the Monkey Knife Fighters that you can pickpocket. Again, as I said before, I don't particularly enjoy this method. However, it is very, very good XP if you are good at clicking. So you want to just punch the monkey knife fighters, and after they are dazed, you want to quickly pickpocket them twice, which I completely failed at doing. Um, you cannot pickpocket them three times. You can actually only pickpocket them twice. That's um, as much as this game will allow, but you can get just continually do this over and over, and it is actually very good XP per hour. Um, you can also get some dragon scimitars from the monkey knife fighters, although it is a very rare drop, as well as rune scimitars, adamant scimitars, and lots of black knives. You don't have to worry about food because you can also pickpocket a lot of lobsters from these guys, um, so you won't have to worry about food because you just steal your own. So if you could tell in the last clip, I'm not a big fan of monkey knife fighters. So are you doomed to do in Pyramid Plunder all the way to 99? No, you're not, because at level 95 you can steal from Dwarf Traders. Technically, the requirement to steal from these is level 90. However, you fail so often that it's really not worth doing until about level 95. The only requirement for this is the quest of the Giant Dwarf. Um, also, you will need some iron, steel, bronze, bars, also some silver and gold to uh, pay off the trade for guards so they don't attack you. I will show you guys how to do that in just a second. But the XP per hour here is uh, between 160 and 200k. It is also AFK because you can click just one trader that will not move and you don't have to look at the screen. However, you do have to click continuously on the screen. Um, also, once every 10 minutes, you ha will have to pay off the guards again, so they will not attack you if you fail. You will fail pretty often, even at high levels of doing this. However, you can still get very good XP because it's very, very good XP per pickpocket. And also, you can just continuously spam click, so as soon as your character is done with the fail animation or a successful pickpocket, you can immediately pickpocket again. Also, you have a chance of getting the Triskelion key piece from these Dwarven traders, although it is insanely rare. And you can also earn a bit of money as well as stealing from them awards a lot of noted iron ore, gold ore, steel ore, adamant ore, mithril ore, and a whole bunch of bars. Basically a whole bunch of smithing supplies from stealing from them, and you can get a few seeds that are worth a few K each as well. 
For stealing from dwarf traders, after you've completed a giant dwarf quest, you want to come up to the consortium where all the traders are. Um, again, you need 90 thieving to pickpocket from these, but I would not recommend it until 95 because you otherwise just fail way too often. And you want to talk to the director of the company that you joined during the giant dwarf quest. I joined the brown engine. Um, however, you can join any of the companies during the quest, I believe. Um, and you want to just say, the trade four guards keep attacking me and he will ask you to do a simple task uh, usually uh, bringing him some bars of metal um, I just brought some cheap bars and he seems to only ask for the cheaper ones anyway um, so he asked for four steel bars and now it says the trade floor, trade floor guards are now bribed to ignore you um, so you want to come up to the north here right where this certain trader is um, it has to be this yellow trader that is at the northern end of the spectrum here um, because of all the other traders, um, this one actually does not move for whatever strange reason. So what you can do is just stand here and click on the trader and pickpocketer. Um, and I just got one of those lamp handles. But um, you can just continuously do this and you get 556 XP per pickpocket, which is a lot of XP. Um, and you can look away from the screen or watch TV or whatever and just spam click this trader um, and you will get pretty good XP per hour.